Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube segment, I'm going to be giving a review of the Crossland Economy Studios uh, Hotel, which is located on 1210 Murfreesboro Pike in Nashville, Tennessee. And basically, I, I think the, the hotel itself was very good. I stayed there a few times on and off. And the hotel was very immaculate, was very clean. Uh, the, the, the housekeepers were fairly efficient. They didn't always come at that designated time or day, I should say, that they, that they were supposed to come. But the rooms were well maintained and I didn't really have much problems as far as the cleanliness. The parking lots were usually very clean and they, you didn't really see really much debris or, or garbage laying around anywhere. And on, in that respect, it was good. And the thing about it, though, is, is that as far as uh, staying there, I mean, as far as the prices go, that may be another story. If you're making a, a fairly good income and you're in a good five-figure income, this could be the ideal place for somebody. But uh, the, as far as the prices go, when I was staying there, uh, I remember a number of weeks paying around near 300. It was like maybe 299 something. And really, uh, the thing about it, though, I think maybe it's being they're catering more to corporate. Uh, people because the prices are a little bit exorbitant at least you know, for for me and uh, for for one week uh, now I, I called recently and the the price that I got for a week staying there is three fifty two three hundred fifty dollars and twenty eight cents and the for a month was uh, one thousand three hundred fifty eight dollars and thirty nine cents which which comes to near three twenty a week if you purchase a month. Uh, you, you pay for, for a month, the weekly rate goes down, of course, but really not a whole lot. It goes down to close to $320 a week from $350 and change a week if you were paying weekly. So those are some things to consider. I will say, though, it does it has a laundry uh, on, on the premises, and it's very close to the main road if you're a walker. And, and our bus rider, I mean, there's a, it's really it just, I think if I remember right, only it may have taken less than five minutes for me to get from my room, walk down the hill, and then get to the bus stop. So it really, it, it's very convenient. There's some fast food places in the vicinity. So it's, it's good. I mean, if somebody's like a tourist and comes over there and they have the money to spare, it's in, a, that in the neighborhood is very good in that section but really what what it comes down to is if you're going to be able to afford uh that that rate now i think what happens is um i think a lot of times it, what what it's it's really about a more of a corporate thing i think they're probably trying to cater more to corporate people as opposed to to somebody to an individual that may want to stay there for a fairly extensive period or even for a week or two and it, it really the thing about it is what people don't realize is okay that prices uh, on things are, are more expensive on average in many other states than Tennessee but this hotel price I would say is still is still fairly high and you think about it what's tough for some people is let's say you have some problems with your, your credit history and you're having difficulty finding uh, getting approved for an apartment because of that it makes it rough because then if you have to resort to staying in a hotel and you're on limited income it could be a little bit of a challenge and it's not that it's it's really not it, it's not made easy for people in that predicament and the thing about it is the, the the thing what, what I what I thought I mean was really the, the good thing I say one good thing about staying at that that place I would say it was fairly quiet but the prop but another thing is is that um, being an outdoor hotel you you can really hear certain things that maybe you wouldn't hear in, in maybe another situation another type hotel environment uh, like if somebody's even closing a car door, it, it, it really sounds like it's right near you, very close to you. It's right near your door. And also, uh, the thing about what what would bother me 
is that it, when I was there the last uh, the last time I had stayed there, okay, there's three floors on there, and I generally like the top floor, right? Because you don't hear uh, the commotion and the noise level is diminished, of course, because you don't hear people dropping things on your ceiling. Uh, and what happened was I got the second floor, and really I got the second floor because out of a more compassion for a friend of mine, so he didn't have to carry the stuff up an extra flight. So I felt like maybe I could stay there for a little bit on the second floor, and if I didn't like it or if I had noisy people above me, they I can make the transition, go to the third floor, and they wouldn't have a problem with that. But every time I went to them, they had said, uh, well, I need more information or we can't do this for you. It's all filled up. And I mean, I don't know what's true and what's not, but it seemed like somebody like me that was a very that was very consistent and timely and punctual with my payments and was a good tenant, very unobtrusive, didn't cause any problems or conflicts with anybody in the property. I felt like maybe this could have been accommodated for me and they just would not do it for whatever reason. And I, I found that very perplexing and mind boggling. So really overall, I give, as far as this hotel, out of, out of five stars, I give it three stars and that's my rating overall for it for the reasons that I uh, described, of course. Well, anyway, people, this is Edwin Leonard and until next time, stay well.